And as I say, I have uh, many adventures along this line. And last December of 1966, I concluded that I had gone as far as I could go uh, without taking uh, further forthright action with our technology. And I used an old, old principle of Scientology, which consists of putting the injured uh, member exactly on and in the place it was injured. If you were to bump your head on a certain door a little bit later, if you go back and touch your head against that door, you of course will suffer the full somatic for a moment of the impact. It has to be that exact point to produce this exact phenomenon. And so I decided that I had better go out and contact an exact point or two, not so much for me, but where things had happened in ages past, which were uh, really the beginning of the demise, or were the demise, uh, for this civilization as it then existed. Without telling anyone about this, uh, or what I intended to do, I went out and uh, took my life in my hands, you might say, and uh, brought the matter off. Uh, the mystery of this universe and this particular area of the universe has been, as far as its track is concerned, completely occluded. No one has ever been able to make any breakthrough and come off with it and know what happened. As a matter of fact, it is so occluded that if anyone tried to penetrate it, as I'm sure many have, they died. The material involved in this sector is so vicious that it is carefully arranged to kill anyone if he discovers the exact truth of it. So in January and February of this year, I w became very ill, uh, almost lost this body, and uh, somehow or another uh, brought it off and obtained uh, the material and uh, was able to live through it. I'm very sure that I was the first one that ever did live through any attempt to attain that material. This material I'm talking about, of course, is very upper level uh, material, and you will forgive me if I don't describe it to you in very broad detail, because it's very likely to make you sick too. Now my task for the remainder of the year, uh, up until now, which is to say that ensuing six months, was to find some way to safely bring through individuals it was not enough for I myself to have lived through it. Other people would have to do so as well when they reached clear and tried to move up from that point above. And about five or six weeks ago, I finally was able to make a breakthrough which brought people through this zone as safely. It is relatively easy to do now, providing one is an extremely well-trained auditor and the band of fire can be walked through, bringing one out the other side unscathed, providing he applies exact technology. No one is in danger of colliding with this at lower levels, since it concerns the formation of the society itself in which we live. A person is clear on the first dynamic. It is necessary to become OT to be cleared on all dynamics, including that of society and that of the physical universe. So I have also made this breakthrough, and I don't mean to mind telling you it, 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 it took some doing. In all the 18 years, this has been the toughest one that I have faced, and I faced it so that it would not be tough for you to face when you came to it. 
I formed the C organization of OTs uh, in order to have an area where a Scientologist could come uh, who could safely then walk through this last wall of fire. As the road to OT has to do with confronting and confronting life and confronting both the evil and the good thereof, the people of the Sea Organization are also becoming very experienced in the handling and confronting of MEST. This, however, is not part of the program for people we put through this last barricade. Objections to learning the ultimate truth of this universe and what happened to it and why are so deeply implanted in people that it is necessary for any extremely advanced level to be relatively out of the common area and not planted on the crossroads of the world. So therefore the sea organization is simply organizing bases which are off the main track of man and in these bases we will be able to push people through and also to handle uh, situations with regard to Scientology uh, to help it get in ethics on this planet. It uh, is quite aside from the point that may be a slight matter of interest that uh, all of this recent career has been relatively hard on this poor body. I have broken its back, broken its knee, and now have a broken arm because of the strenuousness of these particular adventures one wonders then well if he is in such good shape what is he doing breaking up his body well that is the trouble i i have i have a great difficulty getting down to the small power level uh, of, of a body and uh, is suddenly uh, if something happens in its vicinity I will suddenly move it or yank it in some direction and it is very very difficult to uh, keep it in any kind of condition uh, I'm keeping it alive because it is a symbol and uh, because it is still needful and because it would be upsetting to, at least to the wog side of the world if uh, uh, a symbol of this body were to disappear but it certainly is hard on it and certainly is hard on me. In searching out and forming bases, I have covered a great many sea miles and because the ships available uh, were not yet complete, I was using a small yacht, the Enchanter. And although she is a steel vessel and very, very strong, uh, she nevertheless uh, was operating in seas which were far beyond her class and capability and built as she is of WOG uh, engines and technologies it has taken a considerable genius uh, to keep this vessel going if you understand uh, the extent of it I have worn out several crews of OTs in the progress of this search and establishment in just the last few months it has not really worn them out it is just that this vessel has gone through her cruise rather uh, rapidly and they are then returned to other work and activities to recuperate as it has only been a very few uh, weeks since I found a proper line through uh, these people have not yet been through the wall of fire of what is called really section 3 OT and uh, so they are having their troubles too and we are just now embarked upon putting the entire personnel of the sea organization uh, who are eligible for it through section 3 OT and then we won't be wearing out so many crews but these people these people are magnificent they're magnificent you you, you should see them uh, they of course uh, would be stellar names in any organization in the world if one of these people were to walk in you would undoubtedly know them by name and uh, they have considerable reputation
meditation, and uh, they would just do fine, uh, perhaps, and perhaps are, could be said to be needed in their organizations and areas doing lots of good. But I've already made an experiment. I went off by myself into Southern Africa to see whether or not an OT would make good singly and all alone without any assistance against the environment around him. And I found out that he would not do too much good. That a group of OTs would be uh, entirely uh, irresistible and are necessary to carry off this type of operation. So OTs do best with OTs. The mission of organizations is to form the first part of the bridge up from the walk world up to the level of clear. It is as far from clear to OT as it is from walk to clear. Organizations are performing their actions in this very splendidly. The only thing that they could improve would be holding in ethics more strongly and getting tech more exactly rendered, having their examinations more precise since endless trouble comes from misdeclares, and expanding further into the public more quickly. This is what organizations ought to be doing. The individual auditor and Scientologist is performing his mission very, very well and is doing marvelously. There isn't enough praise I could give. In the lower grades, one is mainly concerned with himself and his own case or his immediate family, but as one moves up the line, uh, one becomes more concerned with the environment and the world in which he lives, and with this concern comes the realization that all has not been well. And it is very true that a great catastrophe occurred on this planet and in the other 75 planets which formed this confederacy 75 million years ago. It has since that time been a desert and it has been the lot of just a handful to try to push its technology up to a level where someone might adventure forward, penetrate the catastrophe and undo it. We are well on our way to making this occur. As one's ability to confront increases, his level of responsibility increases. And an OT cannot be an OT in a world which is insane or a universe which is mad. Although the scope of the work is almost unimaginably extensive, it is nevertheless true that we are making definite and positive inroads upon this, and we will bring it off. We are no longer dealing with the time span of man, which is 70 years, we are dealing with the centuries. And we have enough time at the upper levels to bring it off, providing we work quickly enough at the lower levels and within the framework of the society itself to prevent it from destroying itself before we attain our purposes and goals. It possibly is a bit above your reality to say that we intend to salvage this sector. No one has been able to do it for 75 million years. We are the first. In that period of time, there has been nothing but suffering and misery for its populations. Life is not necessarily a miserable mess, and a planetary population is not necessarily composed of madmen. It is very easy to remedy the general situation. There are many, 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 many people out in the society who are only too glad to have us, who are only too glad to help, and who will happily shove forward. That, the malady from which they suffer, is actually designed to stop or impede such a movement as ours, is not of any great major consideration. We have already mastered those things necessary to bring off the ultimate win. Well, I hope here that this talk I have given you is somewhat informative and that it will help you understand what is going forward. The uh, situation is very well in hand. What we are doing is extremely conservative in most respects. 
and is very necessary and although one may not be part of the furthest echelon the advanced bases and areas of Scientology it is actually quite laudable to be part of its organizations anywhere along the line every man every girl serves without your support we could do nothing and so we are very glad of your support any suppressive element is bound to lean on us very hard and where it is permitted to enter the organization and permitted to make nothing of our plans and activities of our purposes and even our gains we will lose to that extent therefore we must have a very tight ethics perimeter inside our organizations and those people who are making slighting remarks about what is going on are simply in their own way trying to stop the forward progress all they will really succeed in doing is stopping themselves in that you have not heard of me uh, directly or from me directly here for some little time I thought I had better have a talk with you and tell you what it was all about and tell you where things sat now and I can assure you that anyone connected with the great catastrophe of ages back has been dead almost the same length of time they brought about the catastrophe and they perished within six years we do not have any enemies except suppressive dramatizing men who are themselves the victims of something that happened here from here on the world will change but if it changes at all and if it recovers it will be because of the Scientologist it will be because of the auditor and his technical skill it will be because of the organization and the organization staff member and his dedication in all the broad universe there is no other hope for man than ourselves this is a tremendous responsibility I have borne it too long alone you share it with me now this is however the game in which everyone wins no matter what ethics action is taken no matter what activities go forward in the ultimate everyone will win I am very thankful that you exist I need your help I need your support and no matter what you are doing in Scientology outside or inside organizations you are helping me and you are helping us and you are also moving forward to the resolution of aberration war and dismay in this universe an essential difference between us and those who make mock of such efforts is we know where we're going we know what we're doing and we're moving forward on a very positive laudable decent track we are doing our jobs that cannot be said for others I'm very glad to have had this opportunity to talk to you and I hope the data I have given you is of some aid and assistance in clarifying what is going on and dispelling uh, any doubts or wonders and more importantly I hope is use in aligning the efforts to come forward and to make this a better world and a better universe thank you very much for being here I appreciate what you're doing I need your help and I'm very grateful for what you have done goodbye for now I will see you up the line at the other end